The magnitude of poverty and the medical needs of the people here in Uganda are quite staggering. As a missionary you come to serve one purpose and all of a sudden your attention is brought to someone who has an extreme medical condition. This young boy Stephen was brought to Thomas Charities in need of emergency medical care. His biological mother and father had abandoned him because of the condition. His stepmother Joan and Pastor Richard brought the boy to see Akina Kandana last year and asked if Thomas Charities could help. The boy was being ridiculed at school and the other kids didn't want to play with him. They needed to bring him to Mbale in eastern Uganda to remove the tumor. Of course, medical emergencies are quite common here in Goro, Uganda. Patrick uses Thomas Charity's SUV as an ambulance to bring patients to Gulu for emergency medical care. Patrick and Robin Thomas immediately felt like they had to do something, so they gave Richard bus fare for the three of them to go to Mbale for medical treatment. As you can see, the procedure went very well with no mental side effects. Let's listen as Pastor Richard explains what happened and how Stephen was treated. Um, I'm so happy because of uh, my, my brother Stephen, because for the, in the beginning, when we took him to the hospital, the first time he was being examined, and the doctor says, give us two weeks. We came back at home and we went back again and they give us more two weeks. On the process, because the sicknesses was so a bit hard, we took like, uh, we take like uh, two months in the hospital from the day of reporting up to the date of uh, removing the sicknesses from him. And um, the way I, you look at him, as I talk now, the boy is in P2, yet his size is overdue. And I'm requesting for a support because me, I was just acting as a pastor who can support him in helping him with some support, small, small thing. This illustration of what happened to Stephen is a good example of how the body of Christ comes together to help someone in need. Without a caring stepmother and a caring pastor, Stephen would have been left on his own to fend for himself. The love of Christ shined through a body of believers in Goro, and a young boy's life was radically changed forever. In Romans 12, 5, So in Christ, we who are many are one body, and each member belongs to one another. My name is Ugan Stevie. Stevie, my thank you very much.